Welcome to Crafted Sweetly. In this video, I will show you how to use Cricut Design Space to create a poodle mandala. So first you need to go into Cricut Design Space and select the images. I'm looking for, in particular, the poodle. And this seems to be an easy image um, that I chose. So I import that into Design Space. And then the other image that I'm looking for is just a mandala. And I'll be combining the two to create the design. So this particular one with the footprint is what I'll be using some of the elements from this. So I'm shrinking it a little bit um, just to make it easier to work with. And then you can always zoom in in the bottom left corner here to see the image better. Now I ungrouped this because I don't need some of the layers in there and deleted the one layer. And now if you click on the right here, you can see that you can, there are different layers you can choose. So I'm going to choose this one, but you need to make it visible. So there's the other layer underneath that was actually there. It just, you just couldn't see it. So I made it visible. And this one I'm leaving as is, but it will be a black background. And down the line, you'll see how we can modify these to make the image whatever color you want. So I'm duplicating the image to have it to work with later. And now with this paw print, I will be using only certain sections of it. So what we need to do is we need to slice the sections that we're using. And the way you're basically doing is you're taking the geometric shapes and I change this to draw instead of a cut just so I can see where I'm placing it. So I will take this particular toe, I guess. Once you have it positioned over exactly where you want it, you can always zoom in just to make sure you're not cutting certain sections out of another area. And that's all I want. So I will select both items and then hit slice. So now basically you're slicing that out and it comes into various layers. And those I'm deleting, this is the one that I want, the thick version of that cut. So now I will take that, what I've sliced out of the paw print. I'm going to zoom in so I can see this easier. And I enlarge the poodle again, just so you can see the design better. And... I'll use this section for the head. So I'm basically placing it over the top and I keep adjusting whether it's the size, I can unlock the image to shape it different ways if you don't want it exactly the shape it was. But I'm using that particular pattern is what I will be slicing out of the head area to create the mandala. Once you select it, again, you take, select both images, the small one and the large one. I duplicated it first, actually, just so you have it for the next use. And I'm doing this because I have the three feet that you can see. So I select both of those and then use again the slice technique. And now once you select, you can see you, I deleted the three layers and then left only the main poodle one with the slices out of it. So now I'm taking the other patterns and doing the same thing with the legs. And you're going to take the pattern and put overlap the design. See, if I do this, then it's actually going as a layer underneath. So you need to bring this to the front so you see what you're doing. 
before it's going behind it you want to make sure that it's all the way in the front so that way you can work with it and again i'm turning it i'm shrinking it you can unlock it whatever you need to do to make it fit and again if you can't see it don't hesitate to enlarge the image so you can see working with it better you're going to keep manipulating the image until it works then select both of them and again slice so we will continue this process for the other two legs We will do the same thing with the tail. Modify the image, turn it, unlock it, and then make it larger or smaller to fit the area that we're going to slice out. So now I duplicated the image, the second image that I needed, um, because we need the background solid. So if you go into contour and then hide everything, you're going to have just the solid image of this. We duplicate it one more time because now we're going to work on the body portion of it. So right now, basically what you need to do is keep the center portion of it. So we're going to slice this part out of it and then delete everything else. So if we, we need to create a shape that fits that body. So if you notice, there's a little bit of area that's not selected. Now we're going to use the weld technique. Again, I'm using the draw function instead of the cut, just so I can see exactly where I'm placing this. And if you unlock the image, you don't have the, the circle, a perfect circle. You can manipulate it onto an oval, ellipse, whatever you need it. Um, so I keep changing this until I get it exactly where I want it to be in terms of size. So right now I want it a little lower. I just keep changing the size and shape of that circle. Once you have it exactly where you want, you have to select both things and then weld. So the weld is basically you're gluing the two pieces together to the point where they're one piece. So now I have this weird shape piece. Now that I will need to slice out of the main body. So now, once you have that, you select both and again, hit slice and we're deleting that. We're deleting the extraneous pieces and really saving just this section. Once we have it in place, then we're going to overlap and put them on top. Now back to the paw print, we're going to take the image that best fits in terms of shape already so obviously i'm not going to use the large triangular piece it would take a lot more to manipulate that to be an oval but one of the toe prints would actually be the right size so i'm deleting everything out of the paw print that i don't need again it's the slicing technique so we delete everything off can see those are all deleted and I'm going to use you know delete keep using either the square or the circle sometimes you'll use the 
triangle depending on the shape you want to delete but I'm just going to delete this part and slice it out so we're selecting both pieces and then slicing that section off So now you are left with that one shape, which we bring on top of the body portion of the image. And again, manipulate it, unlock it, manipulate it in terms of size and shape so that it fits that other image. And then we will slice again. So you're going to select both of them. You just want to, you don't want to be too close to the edges on these because then it's going to cut and it'll be a, it won't be right when you're doing it. If it's too close, it'll cut the edge and rip. So there you have that. Now we're going to again, duplicate this and then contour. So you can click on contour here in the corner and that will we're hiding everything but the outer part of the image so now you have a solid image and then we're going to put these on top of each other we need to change the colors of these because once you put it on top of each other you really won't be able to tell that you're doing the design work so you can really play around with this in Cricut design space to see how your final project will look like. So change colors, put them on top of each other, see how you like it. If you don't like it, change the color again before wasting paper. You can see what it'll look like. Then I'm taking the other piece to put on top. Now we don't have an eye, so I'm going to create an eye for this. And basically I'm trying to cut a hole in that layer. I don't want the circle. Um, I think it should be like half a circle, more like half of an oval. So I'm taking a circle and a square, put them on top of each other, and I'm going to slice them. So that way I'm deleting all this and ending up with half of a circle, which then I unlock and manipulate to form the shape I want. And then I will take this, put it on top. And again, I'm rotating it a little bit to be the right size. It still doesn't quite look right. So again, just change it, play around with it until you get it to the right shape. And I will change the color on this just so it's easier to see it. So that's your eye, that the layer that we're going to put underneath as far as the eye. Because once you put the layer on top, you'll see the blue eye between the two layers. And now we need to take the last two pieces. And again, we can change the colors on these and we will overlap them. So we want to make this one black and then the top white. Again, you can do whatever colors you want. Just keep playing around with it. Now, if I try and move it under, it's, I need to bring it, this layer up because it's going underneath the layers. So just move it to the top. So there you have the layout. Now, if you wanted to change it to a black and pink you can you can make it a pink poodle whatever you want to do in terms of the colors but you can always play with it on the screen to see what it will look like versus trying to change it and you can select the various layers on the right and then you know exactly the one you're changing so instead of trying to pick inside the the image and on the canvas part you can pick your layers on the right. 
and then change the color on them. I'm enlarging this a little bit more so that I can see the image better. And after trying to cut it out once, some of the details in the tail and the feet were not cutting out properly. So I decided to go in and make some additional edits and took out a lot of the tiny cuts. So if you go to contour and then zoom in on the tail, you can see that a lot of these are small cuts. So I'm taking out all the tiny, tiny cuts out of the picture. So if you just click on it, it becomes a solid area. And then I will go back in and fill in with some circles so that it's not quite so solid. Once you unclick anything you don't want cut, you can also do that on the side with unclick clicking everything that you don't want cut. So if you see a tiny image on the side, you can just click on that. Now I need to go back and add some circles since there's a lot of solid area and I wanted it to be a little more designed and cut out. So we're using the slice technique again and I made the circles yellow just so that it's easier to see them and you select, you put in the circle, select the two images, slice and then delete everything out until you see the hole basically. Once you've done the slicing and cut out all the details you don't want, you can go back and check and see if there's any other tiny ones you want deleted. And as you can see, these are all designs, part of the mandala that are being cut into the image. So anything that's tiny, I will just delete. If it's really, really tiny, sometimes it's easier just to select it on the side versus trying to hover with the mouse exactly where you want it on the image. Now that everything is cut out right, um, you need to get the image back with the rest of the layers. And you can manipulate the colors again just to see it, how it would look once you were to cut it out. If I put it right on top, that's black, so actually we want to change that particular layer. There's the gray. And you can always group things so that you can move them at the same time. So once you have all the layers exactly as you want them and cut and arranged, you can play around with color, see what you would like the final image to look like. You can change the background, the actual cut layer, whatever you'd like. So this is what you would end up with, the layers cut. Each one with the background. I am using uh, art glitter glue to glue the layers and then foam squares to give it some dimension. They're already cut and I just place them down on the layers. So first we need to glue the mandala layer to the background layer. And the art glitter glue is nice because it doesn't take a lot and it dries clear. And you can, it has a fine point so you can put it exactly on the tiniest um, cuts just to secure them. And then place it, glue it down to the background color
and then we're going to glue the eye in between the two so before you secure the head just make sure you glue the eye in We're going to do the body now, uh, same thing. You can use this uh, awesome glitter glue to get the most intricate cuts secured. Once you have the particular mandala layers glued to their respective backgrounds, then we need to do, use the foam squares to build up the animal. And again, I'm using the foam squares to give it a little more height. You could use strips if you have them. Um, it just, with the little squares, if there's a smaller area you need to get into, it's easier to do so. And then you repeat with the body part. And then it has, does have a little notch that you can kind of align to make sure that it's in the proper place. And there you have the poodle mandala. I did add a little bit of blink to it just to give a little sparkle to the eye. I'm using a little gemstone for the eye. And there you have the poodle mandala from start to finish. I did decide to add a little bit of uh, more blink to the mandala afterwards. I added a nice pink pearl necklace to it. These are a couple of other mandalas I created in Design Space. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe below and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.